Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Back with something a little bit different, yes. We're just pushing aside the Blu-rays and everything for a little time uh, because I just want to talk about something that I've just read online and apparently it's in the newspapers as well. Uh, whereas there's a shock at NHS bosses have unfurled a banner featuring 21 genders or sexualities in a hospital reception. I had no idea there was 21. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about them and uh, we'll go through them one by one uh, and see if I can get some kind of understanding of what it means, <clears throat> what, what each one means. Uh, now, you know me, I... <laughs> I like to put my foot in it from time to time. I hope I'm not going to do it in this video. So if I do, forgive me. Uh, but I'd like your help in the comments below. If you are of any of these sexualities or these genders or you've changed sex or you've changed gender, you know, help us out in the comments so that I can understand uh, what's what. Because 21, that's a bloody lot. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk about it and uh, see, see if I can understand it. Okay, so if we go back to the beginning of time, well, not really to the beginning of time, to the days of Adam and Eve, uh, where we had two sexes. So we had male and we had female. And it was that for a long time. And then over the years, people have decided, some people have decided that they're not happy with how they were born or the sex that they were given. They want to change gender they uh, and, and that kind of thing. So it's not in my place and it's not in anybody else's place to tell someone you can't be that. Uh, it's entirely up to that individual, how they want to be referred to and how they want to be known. Uh, and also any like medical procedures that they go through to change their identity and sex. Uh, uh, I'm not a gay basher. I'm not a, I, I, I don't have any ill feeling towards people of a different gender. My two best friends are lesbians. You know that, Lulu and Claire. Um, and I love them to pieces. Um, one of my greatest heroes was gay. Freddie Mercury so I'm not in any way dissing any of these genders uh, or these sexualities I just want a little bit of help understanding um, what's what because I've looked through the list and I'm a little bit confused on a few of them because they kind of double back on themselves so we'll do that we'll go through that okay first of all this has appeared in many newspapers um so the un NHS, I'm just going to read you a little bit of clip here I've got from the Sun newspaper <laughs> of all places, but it's in the Telegraph and, and the Mail and everywhere else. So NHS bosses have unfurled a banner featuring flags for 21 genders or sexualities. Terms for those who they say do not belong to any sex uh, or are a combination of more than one are included. Patients at struggling Royal Stoke Hospital have blasted its welcome banner as a woke pandering. Uh, the more familiar gay pride rainbow flag is featured alongside a host of lesser known identities. Uh, they are under the sign that reads everyone is welcome here. Um... <laughs> Sorry, he says, but one patient told the son yesterday. Half of these flags and sexualities looked like they were dreamt up on the back of a napkin. <laughs> They're words, not mine. Yes. OK, what else have we got? Um, yeah, the trust uh, said the banner shows support for the LGBTQ plus communities. OK, so let's get into it. Right. Let's start with right at the top. There is the list. OK, so uh, first of all, we have Rainbow. <laughs> No, not Pungle and Zippy. We have Rainbow, the best known gay pride flag, first launched in 1978. So, OK, that one's, you know, pretty much up the top there. Then we have one called Progress, uh, and that is a gay pride flag incorporating transgender, black and brown people. 
so this must be like a new version of the rainbow flag. Uh, next up, we have bisexual. Again, that one's right up there because that one's been around for as long as we can remember. That's people who are attracted to both men and women. Uh, now, this is this is one of the ones that I'm not sure on and that I've caught up on. Pansexual. This one says this flag refers to people who are attracted to all genders. But isn't that bisexual? If you're a man and you're attracted to a man and a woman, you're bisexual. If you're a woman and you're attracted to a woman and a man, you're bisexual. What changes it to pansexual? I'm stuck on that one. So I might need some help down in the comments, please. <laughs> OK, next up, <clears throat> we have non-binary. And it's nothing to do with digits. Uh, a flag for those people who do not identify as male or female. Um, I've I've never been too sure on that one. What do you identify yourself as then? If you don't identify yourself as male or female. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. Um... Next up, we have transgender. Uh, that one's been around for a while. This is people who would, who identify as a different gender to their birth sex. So you're born a man and you later in life, you're never happy. You feel like you feel like a woman. <laughs> Shania Twain, man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> yes. Um, and so you've never been happy in that sex that you've been born with or the other way round. I believe we've recently seen that. Correct me if I'm wrong uh, with Ellen Page, who now uh, is identified as Elliot Page <clears throat> uh, that used to be in the film Juno. Uh, so that I think that covers the transgender. But if I am wrong there, correct me below. Uh, next up, we have asexual. Uh, this one relates to a person who does not feel sexually, who does not feel sexual attraction. I didn't know that they actually put a name to that. I would have just said boring, <laughs> but I didn't know there's actually a name to it. So someone who doesn't relate. Someone who relates to a person who does not feel sexual attraction. Yeah, I didn't know they actually put a name to that one. That's that one. Uh, uh, intersex. Uh, a person, a person, a person born with a combination of male and female biological traits. OK, that one's uh, as it says. And then we have gay men. The flag for men who are attracted to other men. That's obvious. And lesbian, the flag for women who are attracted to other women. That's obvious as well. I don't know why it says bottom row after lesbian. Oh, I think it just means the flag. <laughs> OK, and now we get on to some of the weirder ones that I'm struggling with. OK, so we have polysexual. Sexual or romantic attraction to more than one gender. I would say that's horny. <laughs> yeah, polysexual, sexual or romantic attraction to more than one gender. That's interesting. Uh, then we have a gender or a, is it a gender or a gender? A gender. A person who has rejected gender identity and has none. So does that mean they're not identified as a male or a female? But then isn't that the same as one of the other ones? Yeah, non-binary. Non for those people who do not identify as a male or female. And a gender is a person who has rejected gender identity and has none. It, aren't they the same things? I don't know. Next up we have Andro Androgene. Andro Andronogene? I, I, I've never heard of that one. Someone whose appearance is neither masculine nor feminine. I don't know about that one. 
I mean, you don't you either look masculine, you either look butch or masculine, or you look very petite or you look feminine. I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, then we have gender fluid. Uh, feeling uh, as if you are more than one gender or it changes. So does that is that one... <clears throat> One day you might feel like a man and another day you might feel like a woman. <laughs> it sounds weird. It sounds weird. I'm just trying to understand it. I'm trying to understand it. Feeling as if you are more than one gender or it changes. So you feel like you are a man and a woman. Okay. Um, gender queer. I didn't know that was one. Um, this is someone who doesn't follow binary gender norms. I don't get that one. <laughs> that one's gone over my head. <laughs> um, Neutroy. Referring to a person who lacks a specific gender identity. Referring to a person who lacks a specific gender identity. So if they lack a female gender D isn't that a man and the other way around i don't get i don't know i don't get that one these ones are a little bit more complicated um these ones might need to explain it a little bit more um we've got aromantic oh that sounds nice aromantic someone who has little or no romantic feeling towards others i would say that's boring as well so you've got absolutely no romantic feeling towards other people. OK. Demisexual. Feeling sexually attracted to someone only after becoming emotionally close. Feeling sexually attracted to someone only after becoming emotionally close. See, I I'm having trouble with some of these because... You meet someone, you go out with someone, and after a while you become sexually attracted to them after being with them for a long time. Uh, that just comes across as like normal relationship though, doesn't it? Why is it why is it called demisexual? Hmm. What we got next? Uh demi romantic. A romantic attraction to someone only after becoming emotionally close. It's kind of the same as demisexual, really. One's sexual, one's romantic. But romance comes before sex. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it comes the other way around. Yeah. Um, polyamorous. Uh, to have relationships with multiple people at once. I think they call those swingers, don't they? <laughs> yes. Um, to have relationships with multiple people at once. I think there's another term for that as well. Yeah. Um, and then a straight ally. A straight alley. Straight alley? Or is it a straight ally? Someone who is straight but supports the LGBTQ plus community. OK, so, uh, so that one's got a that one's got a tag. That one's got a tag. So people that actually support all the other identities. OK, so, yeah, um, it's a it's, it's a hell of a list. It's a hell of a list. Um, I don't I don't know if we need all of them, because like I say, some of them are kind of like refer to others. It's like the bisexual and the pansexual. The bisexual are people that are attracted to both men and women. Pansexual are people who are attracted to all genders. So they're attracted to men and women. Or does that also mean that they are also attracted to non-binaries and trans transgenders and gender fluids and all the others? I think that that's what that might mean. Yeah. I think that kind of makes a little bit more sense. OK, well, there we go. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> going to need a bit of help on this, people. Going to need a bit of help on this. 
yeah so there we go so that is in the the papers and an online uh yesterday and today um i'm going to put it to lou and claire when they come back and show that to them and uh, and get their honest opinion um i hope to try and do a follow-up on this video with maybe some of your comments and I'll put some comments on screen and also maybe get uh, Lou and Claire uh, as lesbians to put their input into it and to talk about what they think and what their opinion is on all of these uh, transgenders and genders and, uh, and sexualities. It must be a. It must be really difficult at school these days with the teachers, um, especially for like sex studies. <laughs> Back in the day, it was easy for us. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, there you go. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said earlier on, I'm not uh, a person that would <sighs> insult anybody else that's decided to follow this path or wants to change their body uh, or wants to change their genders and sexuality. Uh, it's just understanding and uh, teaching um, what's, you know, what it's all about. What's it all about, Alfie? Yeah, so there we go. Um, obviously, if I have insulted anybody, then I'm sure I'm going to read about it down in the comments, but... Um, uh, it was a genuine interest in that article and I wanted to put across my genuine thoughts and some of those I didn't understand. Um, but uh, yeah, by all means, put it in the comments down below. Fantastic. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it give, by giving it some thumbs up. Don't, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye-bye.